brought to light the different ways that men and women communicate in her number one New York Times bestseller, You Just Don't Understand. Now Deborah Tannen's done it again, dissecting the way mothers and daughters talk to each other in her book, You're Wearing That. Welcome, Deborah. Hi, so glad to talk to you. So tell us what inspired you to select mothers and daughters as the subject of your new book on communication. My previous book was called I Only Say This Because I Love You, about adult family relationships. It had one chapter on mothers, and mothers and daughters was one part of that chapter. And yet, everyone that talked to me about the book wanted to focus on that. Can you tell us what a meta message is and how these play into mother-daughter communication? Let me give you an example that is really key in the mother-daughter relationship. So frequently, because a mother's job is to be helpful, she will offer a suggestion or advice, uh, help the daughter improve, and the daughter will take it as criticism. Those are two different meta messages. So if I say to you, uh, you would look better with your hair shorter, well, it is a suggestion. One meta message is, I'm trying to be helpful, I love you, I want to see you look as good as you can. That meta message is there. And then the other meta message, which also is there, is, I don't think your hair looks good the way it is. God, I'm seeing my mother's face <laughs> on you as you say that. No, no. <laughs> I would say that when I talk to mothers and daughters who told me they had a wonderful relationship with very little conflict, very rarely was there no conflict, but little conflict, usually the mother would tell me, I bite my tongue. And the daughter would tell me, my mother isn't critical. So often, yeah, it is just reminding yourself that when you make a suggestion, it is criticism mm. because someone who's doing nothing wrong doesn't need suggestions, advice, or ways to improve. Talk to us about the significance of mother-daughter conversations over hair. Hair is one of what I call the big three, hair, clothes, and weight. Okay. Uh, comments uh, that mothers make that they think are helpful and daughters think they're being criticized. Hair seems to lead the pack. Uh, it's because the range from which women have to choose a hairstyle is so vast that the chances we're going to choose a style that our, any other woman, including our mother, thinks is perfect are actually pretty slim. At the same time, women are judged by appearance. And it's true when women see each other or anyone sees a woman, the first thing that they react to is appearance. And hair is one of the first things we see. And we draw conclusions not just about hair, but about the kind of person the woman is based on her hair you know, big hair, maybe she's a little too sexy, maybe she's not sexy enough. These questions are always there for women. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's something that mothers are inclined to say because mothers and daughters look at each other's reflections of ourselves with that same level of scrutiny mm -hmm. that we wouldn't turn on anyone but ourselves. What do you hope to accomplish with the publishing of this book? The realization that just seeing these dynamics Understanding why the other person reacts the way they do gives you the power to change the way you're talking. Mm -hmm. So often we're inclined to think of ourselves as reacting, but the other as the first move. When we step, step back and say, if you're saying something I don't like, is that because I said something you don't like? And usually it is. So you can change the way the other person talks by changing how you talk. So it gives you much more control over the relationships that are important to you. Oh, that's so wonderful. Well, I have at least 15 people on my list, mothers, daughters, women, women friends, who I want to give this book to. And many of my friends have read your book and just give it glowing recommendations. And I thank you. I so enjoyed it. And I know it will improve my own relationship with my mother and daughter. Thanks, Deborah. Well, thank you so much. That's the best thing I can hear.